In a previous video, I shared my video production process. Now, this allows me to really crank out some videos. In this piece, I'd like to share five different types of training and performance support videos that you can develop with this approach. This is similar to a flipped classroom approach that's being used in education today. Now, basically, you have participants watch video presentations before they come to a live session. And then in class, you focus on applying the information through role plays, Q&As, and demonstrations, instead of just listening to a trainer regurgitate material. This is one of my favorites. If you're communicating to a dispersed audience via email, I don't know, say sales reps in the field, you can easily include these rapid videos in your email to support ongoing training. You can even include distant personnel in the videos by recording Google Hangouts or FaceTime sessions with the remote experts. Knowledge management, document sharing, and performance support systems really come to life by including video. And now with adequate mobile bandwidth, these can be accessed just in time, right from the field when they're needed from smartphones and tablets. Having led a high-end virtual learning program, I would liven up webinar sessions by including video sales scenarios. And then as a virtual group, we'd analyze, dissect, and discuss them. This creates a, a more interactive virtual training session and transfers skills much better than just watching and listening to a slide. When creating rapid videos, I encourage you to repurpose your video assets. For example, your product demonstrations can be used in customer-facing material, or your screencasts can be leveraged on customer support boards. The key is, with the proper storage strategy, you can use your videos in multiple places and with multiple audiences. Your videos don't have to be over-the-top, slick marketing videos. They can remain authentic and informative, so you can help your viewer learn, understand, and apply your message. Combined with the video process I talked about before, you can be creating these videos in no time. I hope this gave you some ideas for using video in your training. Thanks for watching.